Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your January 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky, and it sounds so strange to be saying 2018. I can't believe that 2017 has passed, um, and it's still sort of feels energetically similar. I think that we still have a little bit of time to um, work on ourselves and work with the lessons and messages that came from 2017 because uh, January and February, they are the change of the calendar year, but March is really when energies start to shift once we get back into Aries time um, as we are still very much in the 2017 uh, paradigm, but um, there are still a lot of changes coming through, and I feel that you guys are at the forefront of that. Your energy has been very different than most of the other signs over the entire last year. It can actually be a little bit difficult to articulate what it is exactly that you're going through, but I feel that now, as we're moving into January, something has changed and something has become much more catalyzed and powerful for you, Aquarius. Um, actually, I feel that you will be taking on a lot more projects, a lot more jobs, uh, receiving a lot more from the universe with a new prospect or with something very new to you. Um, there's something kind of looming over your shoulder there that, that it feels like you have to kind of get rid of before you kind of have the opportunity to really jump into new territory. And I haven't really felt this for you guys in a while, so it feels like maybe December, perhaps you've equated with some kind of trauma or some kind of um, new experience of difficulty did come in for you, but I feel you sort of experiencing it and going through it in a much more strong and powerful way than you ever have. I see that you're seeing through something. Like, that's what I saw. I saw, like, this very transparent veil type of energy coming in, and you're seeing through something or someone. Some of you are seeing through lies. Some of you are seeing through um, the past. Some of you are seeing through old uh, delusional types of mindsets uh, from within you or from other people in your life and you're finally able to confront it. I kind of sense you being in a completely different territory and I also sense your energy not really wanting to be confronted. So um, it, it's kind of hard to access the Aquarius energy right now because it's becoming something that's not very recognized by other people. You're very innovative, very spontaneous feeling. It feels like you're creating some kind of energetic formula that hasn't really been capitalized on. Um, perhaps in like a really long time by humanity in general. So it's amazing to see you doing that. But I also feel like there's a need to make sure that you're functioning at your core level in a strong way, as that is really emphasized for you guys for January as well. The star is reversed, which has to do with um, maybe not feeling healthy or not feeling hydrated, not feeling like you're functioning at 100%. Um, you guys have a lot of cups energy and a lot of just water energy in general. Um, actually very balanced. You have um, everything except swords energy. So really the emotional, um, difficult part of your timeline should have come to an end in December. And January should really serve as like a resurfacing or I almost sense like, um, almost like skin being resurfaced or like... Um, textures of life being uh, made smooth once more. So maybe some of you are having cosmetic procedure. Maybe some of you are just refining your life in general. Something feels smoother. Something feels more um, collected and put together. I sense that maybe some of you are wanting to do like acting or some of you are wanting to do something that involves the face. I keep seeing like the face and maybe some of you are really wanting to like change your appearance or change your... Um, if it's not like your physical appearance, it's like how you come off. Maybe you're not happy with how you've come off and you're really wanting to innovate. And I, I hear like renovate as well your houses or your bodies or something. I like perhaps New Year's resolutions are really uh, coming in where you're wanting to change your weight or your size. And it's actually really good. It's not um, something that I feel is negative because it feels like it's just another portion of the power that you're gaining. You may see that people from your past come in um, and say, wow, you're so much better looking than you used to be. Let's get back together. You might see that um, people are just approaching you or um, you might feel over magnetic is what I'm catching on to. There is soulmate energy in your reading. Um, Six of Cups is about soulmate connections. Nine of Cups can be as well. And um, the star also deals with this type of thing. So a lot of you are connecting with people that are part of your soul tribe, uh, really connecting to your guides or really connecting to um, humans, maybe in places that you never thought that you would. I see like travel or also just accessing different parts of like um, class system or different levels of society and sort of uh, attracting people that maybe you didn't think that you would. Um, and that doesn't feel really good or bad to me. There's a lot of indifference presence that, present that I feel that you're trying to get out of. 
because part of the Aquarius paradigm which formed in 2017 was sort of this uh, relationship with indifference or this relationship with um, not really feeling strongly emotionally one way or another, kind of like this gray zone, which I think Scorpio is also dealing with. Jupiter coming into Scorpio now and really becoming like full-fleshed in Scorpio has created a very strong um, reaction and a very strong emotion. So any kind of like indifference or gray zone kind of makes you um, come off like neurotically, I want to say, or you're feeling that way. You've got to be able to allow yourself to react is what I'm trying to say in January. What you've not allowed yourself to feel for, who you've not allowed yourself to either apologize to or um, be apologized to from, any of that kind of thing you really have to wipe out because really denying yourself any kind of emotional experience and trying too hard to detach is not good right now because Again, the Jupiter and Scorpio energy is about attachment. It's about uh, grabbing onto the emotion and confronting it rather than uh, denying its existence. So watch out for headspaces of denial. Watch out for um, negating anything really um, other than some of these long running cycles that you may have been experiencing. The devil reversed is your central theme this month, Aquarius. So you're really seeing like um, how you've been tied to emotional cycles or um, even like um, cycles of money or cycles of uh, pain in general. And I love to see the devil reversed because to me it always signals that you're seeing it and that it's not controlling you unconsciously or that it's not something that you're unaware of. Perhaps you've been going through this for a long time. Maybe you had a difficult relationship with money or a difficult relationship with um, intimacy or um, power complexes and you may not have realized and all of a sudden in January it can like hit you head on and you can be like, wow, this was me and through seeing it within yourself or perhaps even coming into contact with someone who makes it obvious within you, um, like through seeing them do the same thing, you realize, wow, I'm doing that too you really have an amazing growth spurt or evolution, it feels like to me, and you can kind of break free from that. It feels like a breaking free month for Aquarius and like a um, sort of coming out of the uh, the prison cell or coming out of the shackles is what it feels like, which is a wonderful and liberating and um, good to not let other people take advantage of that or spin that in any kind of negative way. Really pay attention to who's around uh, who's reflecting this kind of constricted feeling that you've been dealing with and who may want to take advantage of your newfound freedom that you will encounter here. So anyway, I want to get into the week to week and we'll talk more about what's coming forward. Week number one in January 2018, you guys have the star reversed due to down by seven of pentacles. So investing in yourself and investing in your health is uh, very strong here. Um, again, it feels like New Year's resolutions or even like the negation or denial of New Year's resolutions. Maybe you're like, oh, I've tried it every time and it never works and I, I, I never stick to it, so I'm not going to try it this year. It's actually not a bad time. It feels like you can actually accomplish a lot more. Um, it feels like with your health and your diet, you can really do things that you've never been able to before. Um, I do sense like renewal, like the spa or massages or some kind of... Um, naturopath type of work like aromatherapy or some something that's like uh, acupuncture or not really mainstream and even if it doesn't do exactly what it claims it's like prioritizing yourself clears a lot of that karma by doing it so it's not really bad either way and you do have a lot more luck than most people with sort of um eccentric or non-mainstream methods of healing. So I'm um, getting readings or any kind of acupuncture or um, I don't even know. I'm sure there's all kinds like Reiki healing. That type of thing can do more for you than most other zodiac signs because for you to prioritize yourself in that way and invest in yourself that way clears more karma than most because you don't do it that much. You're very detached from self-investment and um, uh, self-care a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes uh, myself and a lot of other channels will notice like our Aquarius content may not be as consumed and I think that that's because Aquarius is always really focused on um, the collective and focused on humanity and society and it's harder for Aquarius to focus on themselves until you do, until you have that realization, which a lot of you do and a lot of you here. I've worked with a beautiful, amazing Aquarius who have had that and really start to come into this place of power. But Aquarius on the whole, it's harder for them to maybe sit down at YouTube and think, okay, I'm going to go and look at my reading um, because spending that time on themselves might not always feel um, that intuitive or that right. So definitely jumping into the first week of January prepared to invest in yourself, prepared to um, allow yourself the time to cope and to heal. 
like allow yourself healing Aquarius. It sounds very obvious, but um, that's to me what the star and seven of pentacles together deals with, especially when the stars reverse. It's like you've been disallowing yourself or not allowing yourself to heal, to cope. And I think that that's kind of magical because, you know, healing and coping and the sort of energetic foundation that that whole concept comes from is very magic. You can deny yourself healing and through that period of denial and negation, you build up a lot of momentum behind it. So when you finally allow yourself, you can really burst into it and pull in a lot of um, money or love or energetic universal patterns because you've resisted it for so long. But you have to be very careful. Again, that's the kind of Jupiter and Scorpio concept as well, uh, sort of trying to take control of the healing archetype of the um, coping mechanism within yourself to empower other aspects of your life. Be careful with that. It feels like you can make it a lot more obvious, a lot more upfront and actually heal versus sort of using this type of magical dimension or gateway as empowerment for other sectors of your life. Uh, which is an interesting concept to work with and not actually something that I've ever realized myself. So I appreciate the Aquarius collective energy for te te for teaching me that. Um, anyway, moving into the second week of January, you guys have King of Cups reversed. You're down by Ace of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be um, gaining emotional security within money or within spending that i always see that with the devil too it really feels like you need to look at money and look at your relationship to money um all the fixed signs are encountering this leo aquarius scorpio and taurus because again this jupiter and scorpio and saturn and capricorn energy coming in now um it really puts a lot of focus on the ways that we spend and not even just money but uh, one of the main ways that we tend to spend is money because it can be emotional it can be financial and it can be manipulative the way that we use money is very energetically um embodied within humanity and society right now so um definitely in the second week of january look how you're spending and ask yourself like maybe go i like to say sometimes when we felt like the devil and the ace of pentacles together like that it's a good time to like go through the bank statements with a highlighter and like think okay i'm going to highlight each transaction that i'm not quite sure why i did um, and it, it's not even necessarily that you've like overspent on something that's like luxurious or lavish or something. It can be like getting caught even maybe like your interest rates or something has gone up or like your insurances or just to be very mundane, like things you can be being overcharged right now, or you can be like, um, people can overcharge you or, uh, set up more transactions than you're aware of. And there can be just weird constructs put in place of your spending so um and, and obviously just emotional like really go through and tally it all up and think okay is this spending necessary because when we buy things here's an interesting thing and i need to talk more about this and maybe make a specific video about it um when we buy things the value and money doesn't really have anything to do with it but it takes a certain um emotional energy to maintain things and to own things um say you buy like a pair of sunglasses or something and whatever whether you spend like five dollars or like five hundred dollars on a pair of sunglasses um it takes a certain energy to maintain them and to own them so for example if you buy like a five dollar pair of sunglasses um it doesn't really take much because it's been sold for such a small price but if you buy like a really expensive pair of sunglasses you're kind of um investing into the art of branding and maintaining energetically things which are unnecessary and also if you buy things really cheap you're also buying into like a sort of a labor contract of mass production too so this is sort of very um out there and up there philosophically and spiritually but i know you guys like this kind of thing so just really start to think about it in that sort of Sagittarian mind frame, like, what am I buying? How am I purchasing it? And what kind of archetypal systems am I really getting myself into by owning and maintaining what I'm purchasing? Because there's just like with the devil there, I'm trying to really like probe into that and understand like what's deeper here. There needs to be like deep thought and like more so than just like how much money do I have? Can I afford $500 sunglasses? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, it's deeper than that. It's not about what you can or can't afford. It's about what you're kind of maintaining by doing the transaction in the first place um, I sense maybe some of you are like uh, going vegan or maybe some of you are like um, out of the whole animal cruelty and maybe you're supporting brands which condone it I don't know there's something about what your money is funding not matching up to the product that you're getting so there's just a cycle there that it feels like is feeding into your karmic experience 
Third week, you guys have 10 of wands. You're down by nine of cups um, to get completely out of money. Lots of new, passionate, creative endeavors coming your way. Time to draw up the plans for the business. And this could be why it's important to get the finances figured out because a lot of you are launching businesses, launching projects, promoting new um brands or products and you know by sort of understanding how you're spent you can maybe understand what to charge like there's a connection there like you understand what to charge for your services and your products that you might be building or what you need to be paid and what raises or promotions you should ask for um, through getting down to your actual emotional energetic transactions as a person i feel like that really wraps it up um, because you guys are taking on a lot it feels like you're holding a lot up um, Ten of Wands is maybe too much of it on your plate, but also a sign that you're like almost there. It's a culmination card. Um, some of you are quitting your job. Some of you are um, putting in like your two weeks notice because you're saying this is too much and you're like, I'm going to launch my own brand. It's a good time to do that and not to encourage anyone if you haven't thought about it. Like if you have the plans drawn up, you've gotten past the um, emotional spending cycles as a uh, difficult negative pattern in your life. You've come past the... Um, need to spend everything you've come past uh, emotional transactions in general in an evolutionary way um, and, and you know it, it, it's like it, it takes a village I think with this type of thing but if you've worked on that and you've realized that now is a great time to quit now is a great time to walk away um, also a good time for habits that are negative to you to fall through I've I, been saying that a lot for Jupiter and Scorpio in general it's easy to quit it's easy for things to die out so if you've had a problem with like um uh, binge eating or smoking or whatever it may be, you can really just easily say, okay, I want to stop here. Um, this to me also deals with the difference between like creative potential and also emotional potential, like 10 of wands and nine of cups, because wands is sort of like creative and passionate, like ideas and potentials is like a late card, it's culmination, it's maturation of these concepts. And then nine of cups, it's just not quite there. It's not 10 of cups, right? So you've got like that 10 and that nine. So maybe you need to make sure that you're getting the same emotional fulfillment um, out of your job and out of your work or out of like your contribution energetically to the planet. You need to make sure that you're getting the same fulfillment emotionally out of it as you are like when you're planning it out. As I've like struggled with this a lot myself, it's like I plan out content and I love it, but then it's like once I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, I can't handle this. So there can be kind of like a disconnect between like planning to like something and then liking it when you're actually doing it. So I try to find something and to refine and resurface, to use those words again, what you're doing and what your contribution is in the world and sort of align and uh, calibrate those two things together like because it feels very possible it feels like Aquarius can it feels like your energy can enjoy and can um, be passionate as well as emotionally fulfilled by your projects right now okay fourth week you guys have two of Pentacles reversed rooted down by six of cups interaction with soulmate comes in during that week um, lovers of the past um, relationships of the past nostalgic relationships generally when it's upright a lot of people might interpret that as something negative and difficult like oh no my ex has contacted me and i don't want to have anything to do with it but it feels nice it feels like a good thing even if you might like see on your caller id you're like oh my god my ex is calling me why are they calling me it feels important it feels like a closure might need to happen and it feels like maybe through answering you get a lot so not a wonderful time to be so detached where you're rejecting or blocking it's hard for the rest of us to have this done to us by Aquarius and how can I say because of course there are some situations which warrant this type of thing and it's like you know in your heart what kind of situation if you're being like stalked or there's been like a violent experience and obviously it warrants to block or cut somebody out of your life but um the energies are very harsh to be very rejected right now and a lot of people are dealing reject with rejection rejection is a strong energetic archetypal theme over the next year but no one really needs to be the person doing it, if that makes sense. And I sense that you're very popular right now, Aquarius. I sense that you're very magnetic. So be careful about who you reject. I think it can be easy because maybe a lot of you are getting like the contracts, the record deals. Um, a lot of you are getting like the following or the um, new experience of love. And it's really easy to say, look at what I have. I don't need anybody anymore. I don't need these people from my past. I'm famous now. And you can sort of wake up like two years from now really wishing that you had some kind of connection to who you once were and perhaps very much regret having done what you did during this period of time if things come into your head in a sort of like, a, I'm a star, like I don't need my past anymore. It's like a cycle, you know, because you might feel like you don't need it now, but 
on another side of life you might wish that you did and it feels like you can really make things comfortable and easy right now it feels like you can really like um say yes this happened that happened and you can just sort of leave the door open or establish that things are okay and you can achieve like what blocking someone would have done like for example like maybe just by talking to your ex or something or um telling them your side of the story or some kind of like a i want to say it's like a um acknowledgement of someone's presence does the same thing it's like they just never talk to you again or they just say oh i feel much better I'm going on with my life and it's like you get the same outcome as if you would have blocked them but you just don't establish such a negative loop so um you know do what you have to do and again there are some situations where that's not accurate but aquarius just has to be very careful about being too detached or too cutting or too rejecting during this time because you don't really need other people right now but you never really will and that's the thing about aquarius is it doesn't really need people in the same way that anybody else does but you're much more emotionally fulfilled and can find it much easier now, perhaps than later, especially if you're very rejecting right now. And with that Two of Pentacles connection, I feel like maybe you're battling with this. Like, do I reach out? Do I stay to myself? Um, and maybe some of you want to tell someone that you love them. Like, I sense that too for like Two of Pentacles and Six of Cups energy. It's like, do I tell them I love them or do I keep this a casual thing? Um, you kind of have to be honest because the rest of humanity really gets a lot out of seeing Aquarius being open about their emotions or doing like things like lovingly. Again, you can be a little bit cold or a little bit icy, a little bit like um, brash or harsh energetically naturally that's just naturally what Aquarius can be. And of course, if you've got like a Leo or a Sag or a um, like Taurus placement really strong, then that can sort of mitigate this. But um, if you're an Aquarius, especially with like Scorpio or um, like Gemini energy, then you can be like a very like cold wind is kind of what I think of with Aquarius or like even like wind with like a bit of sleet in it that's like really harsh and like makes your face burn um, can be your energy right now, especially with icy Jupiter and Scorpio. So whatever you can do to kind of work with that and mitigate that, um, really gives a lot to the rest of us and makes us all feel a little bit more hopeful. So I hate to put you that kind of um, pressure on you guys, but because um, you get, the thing is, it's not about them. I mean, this is your reading after all, but if you could see how much love you get just by being loving in small ways to other people and how much easier the next few years become, then you really, really thrive. So um, that's sort of why I'm saying it. And it also helps you see things about you and helps you make amends with your past because i always say aquarius can be a bit cold because people have been very cold to them and you sort of learn how to do cold in the right way but um you guys can also be very warm too uh, especially depending on what else is there but as i'm saying you really like your heart sort of grows three times bigger and you get to just be stronger through that you, you guys kind of get to have like that grinch type of experience since we're in the holidays here um and some of you might be dealing with that type of person as well. But, um, and that's sort of just as a funny note, I think that someone should make a tarot deck and call the devil the Grinch. <laughs> I might have to do that. Um, and whoever does it has to credit me. <laughs> but um, so with the Grinch being your central theme for January, you know, it's all about making that heart grow. And through doing that, other people's hearts grow and you sort of break the shackles and you become free. But humor aside, you've seen through it, you're doing it. And, um, you know, you step out of January into February with a lot more than a lot of people and with a lot more potential and a lot more unlocked, I want to say, about the mystery of humanity than a lot of people. So use it wisely and use it to become better, use it to become stronger and to empower yourself first and foremost, but others as well. I hope this reading has been wonderful for you guys. If you would like to book a private reading with me, um, you can click in the center of your screen. Um, also, I think there should be some really important links in the description box. I can't really remember exactly what I'm doing. But anyway, check the description box for the links. I believe my Twitter and Instagram are there. And um, also maybe some new channel stuff. But anyway, I will be talking to you guys in February. Much love. Bye.